Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge, and what we're going to talk about in this video today is some lessons learned from our students in class, and hopefully we can help you guys out too. Let's go ahead and get started. So guys, I recognize you know most of you guys watching the videos out there have been doing videos now for 10 years, and you know the vast majority of you guys watching the videos I'll never meet, uh, and that's fine. I'm, I'm glad you get uh, benefits from these videos. And you know before we go into anything else, guys, subscribe to the channel for me. And if you're already subscribed, hit your uh, notifications, hit that bell because then you'll get a notification when the stuff comes out, and uh, we can hopefully trick those evil algorithms out there that try to suppress uh, people that say things that may be threatening or not in line with the official narrative uh, of people so that's the thing and here's the deal guys when we uh, do this information try to help people out and I do recognize we probably won't meet the vast majority of people that watch our videos uh, a lot of you we will meet uh, but even if not hopefully at least be able to, to learn some things from this so the video here we're going to talk about is the lessons learned from our, our students a lot of times and a lot of times people buy stuff and, and before coming to class and then they try it out for a little while or maybe they don't maybe the first time they use it's when they get here and one of my favorite phrases is lifetime guarantee or lifetime warranty. That doesn't really do us much good when it's, when it's our lives. Now the company makes a lifetime warranty because it's not their life on the line. It's other people's lives. So we got to think about quality and all that. You know, the thing is guys is that we get to see what works and what doesn't work. So when we make recommendations, this is not just because. Uh, I'm a, a person that, that does videos and, and teaches firearms for a living and have now for a decade. But the thing is, is that I don't like uh, get sponsored by anybody. I mean, I've had like hundreds of offers, but I don't do it. I don't have a problem with people that do, but please understand where I'm coming from is, is that I don't like take other people's money to promote their products. Like any of the recommendations that we do is because I've like personally bought these things myself full price with zero discount whatsoever. And then I've tried it out for like a long period of time and then know whether it works or not. Additionally, what we see is people's, you know, equipment in class. So that's pistols or rifles or uh, gear like chest rigs, plate carriers optics, lights, all that other stuff we get to see. So it's literally like one of the coolest laboratories that there is. Now we don't shoot a bunch of rounds in class and call it training. We do shoot, but we give you guys reps on the gun. And so we're not like hard on the guns. Like we just use a normal round count on stuff. We're not like throwing guns around and we're not like having people throw them in mud puddles. We, we don't do that. Like, you know, if you did that in military, you'd probably get punched in the face. So the thing is, is like, my background on this is, is Marine Corps. I was uh, four years active duty. I was an 0351 assault man. After that, I did law enforcement. So I did patrol, undercover, narcotics, advice, and task force. Um, you know, I've been teaching firearms full time now for a decade. Uh, probably trained, I don't know the exact number, but anywhere between eight to 10,000 students in that time. So we get to see a lot of equipment. And the point is, videos are lessons from our students. So uh, biggest lessons that people learn is. You know, quality matters. You know, if you're gonna invest in stuff, you wanna make sure you invest in good stuff. And that should go without saying, but the problem is, there's certain products out there that aren't as expensive as others. And people say, well, it's expensive, I may not afford it, but all I can afford is this. My advice is this. Buy the best stuff that you can afford. I'd buy it once and be done with it, and that way you don't have to worry about it. So most cheaper red dots, they're cheaper for a reason, and uh, the reason is, is because they don't work as well as the ones uh, that, that, that do function well, that are actually been proven over a long period of time. I've had students come here uh, for rifle class, they use a cheaper optic on there, and they say, man, it's, it's almost as good as this, or it's, it's good enough, until it's not. And a lot of times we just see optics fail. Uh, fresh batteries still don't turn on, or they fog out, or they, uh, they're not as waterproof as the manufacturer claims. And so the problem here is that, that people are counting on that to like, you know, defend their life with it, and then it fails in class. Now class is a good place for it to fail, because there's really no consequences, because guess what, now we're using iron sights. So you know the thing is, people learn from that. Um, I've had that happen like literally hundreds of times, where people literally hundreds of times where people have come to class with an inferior uh, optic and then have to take it off and then just use iron sights. And they're glad that they did because they actually get more fundamentals and more uh, good reps out of those iron sights than they would anywhere else. You know, I've had a guy uh, give him a shout out. I know he watches the video, right? I'm not gonna like give like. Uh, breach of uh, privacy or anything like that, but uh, truck driver down in Georgia, an awesome student was here earlier today. Terrell, man, shout out to you. Keep keep doing what you do. Turns out you have a pretty important job, trucker. You know, he came out to class, uh, had an optic, had some issues with it, but guess what? Iron sights ran the whole class. That was the hit of the show. Everybody was like, "Wow, man, you're doing great stuff with the iron sights, right?" Makes you know 150, 200, 300 yard shots with his iron sights and ball ammo. So uh, lessons learned there, and uh, found out that those iron sights work. You know, we've got other students out there. 
you know, that, that find out lessons as well. Uh, other lessons are we don't need crazy expensive stuff to hold magazines, right? Plate carriers are fine, t chest rigs are fine, but oftentimes it's the most simplistic solution that's going to work for us. And we've had a lot of students do that. You know, they figured out, wow, I don't need a bazillion magazines. I can come out and do work with two or three mags and do just about anything you could ever hope. Other real important lessons besides the, the, the hardware, right? The hardware is like the gear and all the equipment that we use. It's the tools to do the job. But People often overlook the software component, right? The brain, the mind, the mentality, you know, what's your state of mind and your will and all that stuff. And it's crucial. So another student, a uh, guy, uh, old school army, right? He's uh, a good old boy from Arkansas. David was just out here. Uh, good dude. He's been out here for a few classes. Uh, here's the deal. Veteran, was in the army when he was younger. Now he's getting a little bit older. It's not that he's old, he's just getting older. So it's like high mileage situation and maybe you know, it's uh, our body can't do the things that it used to do, but it's still mentally in the game. But the biggest lesson that we can take from a lot of our students is, is that our students are oftentimes very hard on themselves, very hard. In other words, overly critical of themselves if they don't perform exactly the way that they want to. But here's the thing, guys, nothing about shooting is easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. And so the thing is, is like if we can just like understand the progress that we're making and that we know we may not make every shot we take, or we may not do every technique exactly right every time or our tactics, we may screw those up sometimes. That's okay, we just absorb it and carry on. But if you're one of these people that's overly critical about yourself, just let me give you this following advice. You gotta stop to pat yourself on the back every so often when you accomplish stuff because if you're a perfectionist, that can be a very bad mentality at times. And it's good to be driven and it's good to like, you know, expect a lot out of yourself. Certainly we can always do that, but you know, it's not like a catastrophic world ending event if you don't do something perfect every single time. And oftentimes we can get inside our own head and think, man, oh man, I screwed that one up. So the only important rep is the one that you're currently on. The only important, the most important shot is the one that you're that you're currently on. Not the one that you just did, not the one that you're about to do, but the one you're on right now. And that's really what's important. So uh, guys, you know, set out your practice, your training, understand that there's gonna be ups and downs, peaks and valleys, all that stuff. And uh, understand that, you know, you may not always be constantly like this, but if you're like this, that's good and that's progress and that's how it goes. Sometimes you have an awesome range session, sometimes you won't have an awesome range session. It happens sometimes, even to the best of us. So uh, think about how important it is to always look to the future and look at the progress that you've made. Sometimes you gotta look over your shoulder and see just how far that you've come. We'll switch gears to pistol. You know, stuff we learn from, from you know, students learning class and uh, that we've seen quite a bit is holsters. Like a really good holster is necessary. You're gonna do everyday carry guys, concealed or open, doesn't really matter. But the thing is, is that you wanna invest in a really good holster. So we see people come to pistol class. You know, they'll come, they got a good gun. You know, they're shooting stuff that's reliable, good ammo, good mags, all that stuff. But their holster is like uh, working against them rather than for them. You know, the thing is guys, that some holsters may be real comfortable to carry the gun in, but when it comes to actually drawing them, they're not so great. Had a really good student, uh, good stuff going on, was able to carry it on and absorb it, but the thing is he was fighting his holster the whole time. Hard to get a full grip on it and all that. So, you know, the holsters may be comfortable, but if you can't actually get a good grip and draw with it, then you know, you're gonna be fighting yourself. So uh, use good holsters and it'd be my advice, invest in it uh, because you're gonna be carrying that gun a lot more than you shoot it. And you know, the thing is guys, is that with pistols, uh, the red dot thing is the latest craze and I get it that there's pros and cons to it all the time, but uh, some things you want to consider for your red dots. You know, if you guys, one of these guys, you shoot a red dot on your pistol, you want to have iron sights that you can access, you know, without messing with them. You know, normal size sights, they're not going to work with your red dot because, you know, if your red dot fogs up or if it shuts off or if it sustains damage or anything like that, you don't have sights on your pistol that you can use. Some guys use suppressor sights, so they're taller. And so they can use that through their uh, red dot. But once again, that doesn't solve the problem of if your red dot's completely fogged out, which has happened more than once, guys. It's happened more than once out here. I've seen it like a lot of times. And they can't use their iron sights because it's fogged out. Or if it sustains damage, it's cracked. You can't see through it. And you can't take it off. There's no quick detach. So that's another thing you want to consider. So we have students here a lot of times. Uh, they figure out good stuff, but I don't want you to have to find out this stuff the hard way. And I don't want you to have to figure this out when your life is on the line. So, you know, here's what I would do. I would stick with stuff that works. I would, I would stick with simple stuff that's reliable, that's worked for like hundreds of years. Uh, stuff that's going to be there and it will work when you do. And our students find that out. And the thing 
is, like, uh, like I've heard this hundreds of times where someone said, man, I just wish that I would have done this first. I wish I would have trained first instead of buying all this stuff. We've all got the bin of shame. We've all got the, the stuff where we got like holsters and, and rigs and who knows what other uh, accessories that we have in that bin. And it's hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So when you make sure you get it right, you know, invest in yourself. It's, it's real important stuff that you do that because, you know, we only got so much money. We've only got so much time. And the thing is we want to maximize that stuff. And when you realize it's not about uh, buying a bunch of stuff, but it's about hard work, it's about practice, it's about repetitions, and it's about knowing how to practice that stuff properly. We see students all the time come to class, they already got a good package. They've got a nice set of fundamentals, a nice set of foundations. When they come, we just make a couple small minor tweaks here and there, and it's like a game changer for them. It's like, wow, that made a huge difference. So you gotta be able to get to a place that's gonna be able to diagnose those kind of things and adjust your technique and give you techniques that's gonna work in a high stress environment, give you techniques that's gonna work when your lives are on the line, when your family's lives on the line. And really that's what it is. So you gotta invest in that kind of stuff. Invest in your software. The hardware stuff, you know, it is what it is. We've got our recommendations, guys. You know, good holsters, good slings, good everything. Uh, all that stuff's on the website. But the thing is, at the end of the day, you, you know, you should be investing more in, in your own skill set rather than things. And that's how you're gonna get good. That's how you're gonna have sustained development. That's how you're gonna get the biggest uh, improvement in your shooting and tactical knowledge is coming out to a place that's gonna be able to diagnose those things and teach you how to do things the right way. If it's complex, it's not gonna work, right? If, it, if it's, if it's uh, too much thinking going on, it's not gonna work. If you psych yourself out, it's not gonna work. So we gotta be able to get those fundamentals and those baseline things happen. And we've had uh, success with so many people uh, of all walks of life, uh, men, women, uh, people with a little bit of experience, people with a ton of experience. So we're just across the whole bandwidth and uh, people are very glad about that. I know for sure that the biggest and most rewarding part of my life is seeing people get better and uh, seeing the confidence that's in their eyes, seeing the confidence in their in mentality. The after action reports that we've received from students have been just the most awesome thing in the world. Uh, my reward for sure is, is, is seeing the results and seeing the people figure that stuff out on their own and, and seeing the people uh, that have gained so much value from that. And that's the most rewarding part of all. Uh, you know, you do it long enough and you know, you, you help enough people and then you're, it's just like the whole body of work and the best lessons that I've learned from our students and the ones that we've uh, trained with over the, the years, you know, the biggest lesson that I've learned is that, uh, you know, it, it's really mainly <laughs> about inspiring. Uh, it's about uh, getting people to see the light. You know, it's about putting good people out in society that know what they're doing, that are gonna make the right decisions, that are going to make the right call, and that have prevailed. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, uh, but we have had many students that have had to use what they learn here to protect themselves and their family, you know, not only inside the United States, but outside the United States as well. So uh, we, we're just very glad about that, uh, that people are alive and have prevailed uh, due to that. So it's about passing it on, guys, and passing on some lessons for you. Uh, I know most of you watching this will probably never meet, but uh, some of you I'm sure we will. And for even regardless of whether we meet you or not, Hope that you get value from these videos. You know, I've always been accused of telling people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. And uh, that's reality, right? So uh, I want you guys uh, out there to stay strong mentally, stay strong physically, uh, do the best that you can, and hopefully you can learn uh, from others as well. And uh, we would love to help you guys out. We do pistol and rifle. I've also got some books available on, this, on the topic. I've written pistol and ri uh, rifle books, so that's available in the description box as well. So if you really want to get the full deal, though, you got to come out. We'll watch you. We'll polish you up. We'll uh, have you leave with a nice set of skills, nice a workout plan for your shooting development when you leave here. And the process is never ending, guys. And uh, it's all about prevailing. It's all about success. And it's all about hard work. And there's really no shortcuts to that. If you found the information in the video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media. Link is down below. And if you want to come out into a class, go ahead and sign up. Fast filling up, and I'd hate to turn you away. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.